Jennies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. I am so excited to show you guys this DIY project. This is part of my Halloween series. I think this is like the number 22nd. Um, I told you guys that I want to do 31 videos for you guys. I am getting super, super close. Thank you so much, everybody, for your vote of confidence. I think we can do it. Okay, so we are going to create a Halloween candy kit. I absolutely love this idea and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I was at Home Goods last week looking around and getting ideas for Halloween and I came across this um, Halloween candy kit and I thought to myself, wow, that would be fantastic to try to um, kind of like incorporate in a Halloween series. And I thought it was an awesome idea because it's not really like the normal candy goodie bag that you would get somebody, but it's just a really nice presentation <clears throat> and it's a little bit different than the norm and I just thought it was an awesome idea. So what we're going to need for this project is going to be so, so simple. You're going to need some different kinds of assortments of candies. Now. The candies that you're going to get are going to be candies that are tiny, they're small. They have to be able to fit into a little compartments that I'm going to show you. The compartments that we're going to use or um, what we're going to put our candies in is going to be this little um, tiny hardware storage case. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. I believe Michaels might sell this in the jewelry section because um, you can actually put like little beads in here. So you might be able to find this in Michael in the jewelry section, but I found mine at Dollar Tree and any Dollar Tree that you go to usually has this by the hardware section. I thought the idea was so appealing to me and I said to myself, I must, must try this with you guys, okay? So, you're gonna need one of these little cases. You're going to need different kinds of candy. Now, you have to keep in mind, the candies that we're gonna get are candies that are tiny and small that you can put in these little compartments. Obviously, you can't put like, I don't know, a Hershey's Kisses in here because first of all, the Hershey's is too big it's too tall and it's gonna be squished. So anything that you put in here, most likely has to be either small, has to be kind of like squishy where you can squish it down and it looks pretty, okay? So, let me have a seat and let me show you a few candies that I got at the dollar store and give you ideas on where you can find these candies and how you can kind of, um, how you can kind of make more use out of your supplies. So Dollar Store has these candies out now and there are skulls and bones. They come in a little package like this. These are perfect. These candies are actually these right here. They're perfect because they come individually wrapped. You can unwrap them and you can actually use them in your um, little um, candy um, storage case. Not only are they adorable, you get different kinds. You get skeletons, you get bones. So what I did here was I separated my skeletons and I separated my bones and I kept them all separate. So when I put them in here, you know, they look pretty and they look nice and it looks very festive, okay? So my idea behind this, I think um, it's going to work. These candies are perfect sizes. So when you're looking for candy to create this project, make sure you find candies that are tiny and small that you can put in the little cases, okay? Another fantastic candy that I got were these um, bracelets. These are Halloween bracelet candies. I just put, tore them these apart and they're right here. I separated them by color because I figured maybe that might work better. I don't know, maybe I can, I don't know. To me, by color is better because you can visualize it in a better way. For me, it doesn't have to be that way. All right, I'm using some fantastic watermelon worm candies. As you can see there, these are going to look fantastic and awesome in our candy kit. It's going to look great. I personally like all these like little like squishy candies because they kind of, I don't know, they look good for Halloween. We're going to use some gummy bears. I have here some Lifesavers gummies. And I also have some um, candy corn, some eyeballs. Oops, I didn't... I'm sorry, I should, let me shut off my phone. Some candy corn, some eyeballs, 
and some other little assortments of candies, okay? So we're going to build this candy kit together. So the first step is let's assemble our candies in here and let's see how it looks, okay? Obviously, you're going to make sure your hands are clean for this project. If you can wear gloves, that will be fantastic. It's all up to you. Just make sure everything is nicely, nice, nice and clean. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to put this candy together. And then you can obviously make some changes at home if you want to. Over here, I already have these um, caramel macchiato little candies that I bought last week. I'm going to add some of these little cute, adorable candy corns in here. And I just love the way candy corns look. It's just so festive and so great. Okay. So I think that's good. I want to add some of these bones that we have. Maybe here. And I thought this was a really good idea. I love this idea. I think it's awesome. The kids are going to absolutely love it, obviously, right? How are they not going to love it? So this, these are the bracelets that I pull apart and I put them by colors so I'm gonna put the blue candies in here just like that and I'm gonna put the minty right in here okay already it's coming out look at that already it's coming out so adorable okay then we have some more here. We have some skeletons in here. So let's put the skeletons right here. Okay. Now the worms I want to put right here because these are pretty long. You know what? I should zoom you guys in. I always do this. I always zoom you in when I'm halfway almost done. Hold on. No. Zoom you in. There we go. Okay. So, um... So for the long one, I'm going to put the gummy worms because it's long and it's going to look adorable and I just love it. So I'm going to wear, I'm going to put the gummy worms here. See that? It looks perfect. See? There we go. That's the gummy worm. Let's put some gummy bears over here. I have some gummy bears right here. Try to put different colors. Some gummy bears here, some gummy bears here. Okay. And then let's put some lifesavers that I have right here in the little corner. Maybe right here. Lifesavers. Okay. And now we still have some more leftovers. So let's see. Maybe we can mix these two together right here mix these two together oops there goes one candy and add these in this corner right here and then i have these skeletons that i also got from the um candy bracelet it came as if it was kind of like a charm so I got two candy braces, I pulled it apart, and I kept these two candies that are a skeleton. I'm going to put these two candies right here. Okay? Just like that. And already, look at this candy kit, how adorable it came out. Whoops, let me do it this way. Look at that. You see how pretty that looks? And how adorable with a few candies? I mean, obviously, if you... This would be great for like, um, I don't know, like a co-worker gift for Halloween. Or maybe if you have a few little babies that you need to give a Halloween gift. This is perfect for them. I mean, I don't know how well it would be if you have like a good amount of children that you need to give gifts to. But if you have like a small amount of children, maybe four or five, you can definitely put this together for them. And they'll love it. They will love it because they have a combination of so many different candies in here. That they will absolutely love it okay so now we're gonna do is let's close this here let's peel this off and let's make this box very presentable for Halloween we're not gonna give this box to anybody the way they are it is like this 
okay we're definitely not giving this box like this we're going to decorate this box and we're going to make it look very very pretty okay so for that I'm going to use some ribbon that I have and here we go make sure you also cut out this little tag oh my god I'm off camera this little tag right here make sure you cut that off as well okay maybe use a scissor I think you could snap these off okay but I'm gonna use a scissor because I don't have really good see very carefully just snap that off because that doesn't look pretty I'm gonna close our box and we're going to decorate our box with what with ribbon of course so I have this ribbon here that I've been having for a while. Let's use this ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this Halloween kit, okay, with this ribbon. I'm just getting the idea of how much ribbon I need. Way. I love to wrap presents. Thumbs up if you guys love wrapping presents as much as I do. I love, love to wrap presents. I don't know why. I think it's just, it's very soothing for me and I just love it. I love, love, love wrapping presents. I love to make it pretty and cheerful. I love to use ribbons and I love to use a whole bunch of different things when I'm wrapping or gift wrapping a present and I just love doing it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this very cheerful ribbon around my candy box or my candy kit, okay? And I'm just going to put this through here. I'm going to put one through here. Okay, and I'm going to put the other one the opposite way. Okay, and then we're going to make a knot. Just like that. See that? And then we're going to double knot it. And there you have it. We're going to cut off this extra ribbon that we have here okay and we're going to make sure this one looks pretty this looks a little bit crooked there we go look at that already our little box looks so cute I love it look at that isn't that a pretty presentation and it only costs us a few dollars okay I mean, I literally spent, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six dollars, six or seven dollars creating this cute little Halloween present. And not to mention that you could create more because remember, we still have leftover candy. So we could literally, basically, maybe make about five or six of these with the leftover candies that we already have. Okay, so this is done. This is complete. I'm gonna attach one of my embellishments that we created, which is this one right here with the skull. You see that? We did these. I like this one and I like the hand. Where's the hand? Or oh, the foot. I like the foot too. But I think the foot is, might be too big for this embellishment. So let's stick with the skull face, okay? Or the head, the skull head, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, to make it easier for myself and not make me go crazy, I'm going to attach this um, embellishment onto a tag, okay? Simple tag. You can obviously, if you want to maybe distress the tag, you can if you want to. I'm just going to keep it like the way it is, okay? So I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of this embellishment, okay? And I'm going to add it to my tag okay 
And then I have some of this ribbon that I want to use. Okay, a little bit of this orange ribbon is going to be what's going to hold my tag together with my present. Okay. go that looks nice see that okay so what I'm gonna do is the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little I have here these stickers and I was looking at the stickers and I was trying to find out if I can maybe use some kind of like I don't know something that resembles candy and I was able to find this one that says candy please you see that candy please I like that so we're going to add that to our little tag, okay? So if you have any, like, I don't know, stickers from last year or any Halloween stickers, just look around and see if you can find something that resembles um, candies or treats or um, sweets, something that, you know, resembles that. And you can always incorporated in your Halloween candy kit okay so I'm gonna put this like that and that looks cute you see that okay, let me come up close it says they're candy please I love that all right so basically we're done with this project guys this project is so easy and so awesome. I want to hang this onto my bow right here. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to make a cute little cute little bow. And we're basically done with this project. Okay. Now, if you want to obviously go back and you want to add more embellishments, you can definitely do that if you want. Actually, maybe I'll leave this hanging like this. And I'm going to cut in this end. I'm going to cut this end and I'll leave it like that. And there you have it. How cute did this come out? I just love it. I love, 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 love this. I would be so happy if somebody gave me something like this because I'm a lover for candies. But look how simple and how adorable this little candy kit came out, guys, with hardly any, any supplies. Just a few candies, a very simple, you know, um, toolbox um, case from the Dollar Tree, and we created this lovely little candy kit and I want to show you guys the picture of the one that I saw in home goods and trust me I personally love this one more than the one I saw in home goods okay and that's not because I made it it's because I think it looks more presentable and looks more pretty so let me show you and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side picture so you can see and get the idea here it is so this is the one that we saw that the one that I saw in Home Goods. See that? It says Halloween candy kit. And it kind of looks the same, right? And this is the one that we just created. See that? Look at that. I think we did good, guys. I really really think we did awesome. I love this one more than the one that I saw in Home Goods. Okay, and here it is side by side. If you can see it, I don't know if you can. But anyway, side by side. This is the one we made. This is the one I saw at Home Goods. All right, honeys? Very good. So I hope you guys like this really, I mean, this is really a short video and very easy. I hope you love this tutorial. I hope you guys give, us, give it a try. This will be perfect to give to you, maybe your co-workers or maybe some little, um, little children that you have. Maybe you have like, I don't know, maybe you are a teacher and you have a few students 
and you want to bring them a little treat bag this would be awesome to change it up a little and make it a little bit more fun for the kids they really would not be expecting something like this they probably will be expecting like a goodie bag which a goodie bag is also okay I am okay with a goodie bag as well but I just think this was just something different and unique and hopefully you guys will like it all right honeys make sure you thumbs up if you like this idea um and i will see you guys back with my next video bye honeys have a fantastic weekend